taking a few deep breaths. You're coyote. The old ruins make me nervous. I can protect you. I bet. That is quite a chest you have. It's not mine. But you are holding it in those strong arms of yours. You want to touch them? What will I tell the priest in confession? <laughs> Money for you, banker. I will take that. And that. You are dismissed. Where did I put my coin purse? Honoratissima. Welcome to my party. I am Juan Borgia. Cesare is about to speak in the main room, Eccellenza. Come. I see an apple. I can pluck that apple. No one will stop me. Well, it depends whose tree it is. You don't seem to understand. <laughs> I own all the tree. things in life make power so worthy. I see an apple. I can pluck that apple. No one will stop me. Well, 
It depends whose tree it is. Are you happy? Yes, Sir Chiesa, I am. There is so much to look at. Oh, good. I spared no experience. I can tell. The finer things in life make power so rewarding. I see an apple. I can pluck that apple. No one will stop it. Well, it depends whose tree it is. You don't seem to understand, my dear. I own all the trees. What better way to celebrate my victories than to join in the Brotherhood of Man? Soon, we will be here once more celebrating a united Italia. And then, the feasting will last for 40 days and 40 nights. Cominciamo ora! We did not agree to conquer Italia. If your brilliant Captain General says we can do it, why not rejoice and let it happen? You risk upsetting the delicate balance of control we have worked so hard to tighten. I appreciate all that you have done for me, but I have the army, so I am making the decisions. Don't look so bad. Enjoy yourself. Things I have felt, seen, and tasted, I do not regret a moment of it. A man of power must be contemptuous of delicacies. But I gave the people what they wanted. And now you pay for it. Il piacere immeritato si consuma da se. Reguiescat in pace.
The liberation of Roma has begun. Grazie, the Borgia Bastardi. But you fight, and you are a remarkable warrior. Could you teach me your art? Mention me to your ami. There's no need to be rude. Where are Claudia and Maria? <laughs> we came back with the money. They followed us home. <laughs> what? My sister knows how to wield a knife. And I am ready to do it again. Spoken like a true auditore. Finally, you two came to your senses. It's about time. Oh, 
has never seen a stranger man. It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. What was that? Salahi, is that you? It's you. I must be getting lazy in my old age. I did not know you had returned to Roma. Unfortunately, I cannot stay. I'm here to charter a ship. Let me assist you. I know a captain. He's very discreet. Hang on, I have the name recorded somewhere. What are you working on? Oh, this? A hobby of mine. Of course you are familiar with Pythagoras. Remind me. The brilliant scholar from Grecia, who discovered many secrets about the heavenly spheres and our cosmos. These symbols come from him? Ever since my exploration of that strange apple, they have been stamped on my mind. I found symbols like them in the writings of the Pythagorean disciples. I am afraid the captain's name escapes me. The apple has been put to rest. Perhaps it would do you good to focus on painting. You seem to be doing decent work on this one. Ha! <laughs> you are kind. However, even I can see that she is badly drawn. And that smile, overdone, meaningless. But forget painting. I made a breakthrough in my research several days ago. A huge discovery. Salai! Can you bring them? Oh, he's not back. I intended to accompany you to the docks, but we cannot leave my workshop without my assistant. Benny, an easy task. I am afraid you underestimate Salai. Hmm. Wait and see. Suit yourself. You will likely find him at La Volpe Addormentata. I told you those dice were lucky. Fortuna wishes she were as good as me. Gian Giacomo. I do not answer to that name. Salai. Better, but not good enough. Yes! Di nuovo! Leonardo, your master requests your presence. Let him wait. No. <laughs> nice hood. Are you one of Julius's monks? My church is not of God. Outside the kingdom of God is the realm of men. You worship there, Messere? Come with me and find out. It has been fun, but I must go. Please, do not depart. The game is not finished. Sorry, but a better offer has arisen. <laughs> Lead on, Messere. The three men from the dice game follow us. Stay quiet. Why? Sentite! I am done playing! So are we! Get back here! Three hundred of my finest sailors for 
There is only one man in Roma who can put on a show like that. You must be Ezio Auditore. Come. We need to return to Leonardo right away. You do not talk much, do you? Fine. I will run ahead. You catch up. These strangers do not quit. Disciples wearing similar robes appeared once before. They sought an object I had in my possession. You mean the piece of Eden? Leonardo told you. Tells me everything. I fear his indiscretion has cost us greatly. We must warn him. Say no more. I know the best route home. 
I take it every morning after the taverns close. Follow me! Due to the recent resurgence of La Malaria in the Campo Marzio, restoration and cleaning work has been temporarily... I'm going around. How about some fun on the rooftops? Leonardo told me that he had discovered something important. He has been exploring a hidden catacomb for years now. I think he came to Roma to find it. Stop running! Your fate is sealed! You have no idea what he is like. He works on this all the time. He never takes me out. And he's so cheap. I have to beg him for money. <laughs> he actually gives coins to you? More or less. What he does not know will not hurt him. Allora, you're from Firenze. Tell me more. Fine. I will use my imagination. It is too early in the day for fighting. Follow me. Mm. Shall we just... Leonardo discovered something in the catacombs. He found the entrance to a temple. Something he read about in his books. I've not seen him that excited in years. Did he say anything else? That the temple contains the perfect number. Something discovered by some scholar from Grecia. Pythagoras. Try this on for size. Taste my plague. Attack! Get them! Attack! Get them! Try this on for size! Taste my blade! Attack! Get them! Try this on for size! You won't get away this time! Attack! Get them! You want to get back quickly? Avoid their swords! Knowing Leonardo, I suppose he spoke of his discovery to whomever would listen. Did you notice any robbed men around him? Why would I spend my time at the workshop when I can go out and have fun? Ask the master himself when we get there. His execution will be conducted via strangulation. His honorable surrender makes meeting with the man equally honorable. Uh. What do you think you're doing? They took him. No, he must be here. The temple he discovered, where is it? Leonardo. Salai, if you want to save him, tell me where the temple is. I do not know. Cazzo. Ezio, something is written on the floor. What does it say? I cannot read. Leonardo promised to teach me, but now... Paintings. He wants us to examine art? I 
remember when Leonardo lived at your villa, he was researching the location of the catacombs. Several of his paintings hung in the gallery there. What do they have to do with the temple? Perhaps the pages of his research are hidden in one of the frames. The paintings are gone. They all burned in the attack. No, they did not. Only Leda and St. John, the Borgia, took the rest. Six paintings. Five. I told the art merchant that portrait of a lady was by Leonardo. I needed the money for a doublet. Of course, now it has gone out of fashion. Who has the paintings now? Lucrezia Borgia, in her husband's palazzo outside Ferrara. Then it is time I took back what was stolen.